Hello everybody, welcome to our webinar. My name is Przemek and together with my workmate Artur Kret, we are going to present our framework software as a journey. As an example, we take our common project with Adam Paul, which is a part of Hyundai Glovis. Before we start, quick, quick introduction of ourselves. Once again, I am Przemek. I am CTO at Altcom Software Consulting, and I have almost 20 years experience of software development lifecycle, including project program management, people management, and coding, designing, testing, and supporting software solutions. Together with me is Artur. Hello, uh, I'm a head of consulting unit at uh, Altcom Software and Consulting, and I'm an expert in requirements analysis and it was also my role in Adam Paul project. Okay, let's get let's get started. For such a long time being involved in IT project, we notice that project is a bunch of risk which must be identified and managed, which is which means mitigated all the time. And there is no shortcuts. Have you experienced that? Of course, there are a lot of risk during a project implementation, but we would like to focus on these ones, which are the most important in our opinion. These risks are related to inappropriate product, wrong design, not sufficient deployment, and, and issues related to, to performance or, or delivery as well. Adam Paul is one of the companies which experience some of these risks, and Arthur will tell us about challenges and how software as a journey help them. Arthur, stage is yours. Thank you. So first of all, a few facts and figures about Adam Paul. Uh, probably everybody knows uh, Hyundai, global car manufacturer. And uh, in this uh, capital group, uh, there is Hyundai Glovis, a company dedicated uh, to perform logistics. So they uh, really deliver all kinds of uh, logistics services. And part of Hyundai Glovis is Adam Paul, uh, which is, I would say, uh, also covering wide range of uh, logistics services, but they are specialized in car and cargo transportation within Europe. Uh, they have 16 uh, divisions in Europe and headquarters uh, in Poland. Okay, and what was the challenge? Uh, Hyundai Glovis had an idea to build a marketplace uh, to get a new share of the market. So they uh, really intended to go wider to middle and small companies uh, which require any transportation of cars or other objects. They had an idea, they had budget, but uh, they had uh, no experience in building uh, such complex software from scratch. Uh, their business model was also under evaluation uh, and uh, the same uh, was about marketing strategy. But they also uh, had, uh, I would say, tough expectations uh, from business part to start operations very soon. And how, how software as a journey helped them, you can see uh, on that screen. Uh, in one year, uh, our team, which was uh, international team from uh, Poland, from Korea, from other countries, uh, launched uh, that platform, Prelo, uh, successfully uh, started uh, operations uh, and uh, starting tra transactions, real transactions between uh, parties uh, on that marketplace in one year. And uh, it was uh, the biggest success of that project. But the second very important uh, aspect is uh, that the team who worked uh, together uh, on, on that project uh, learned how to deal with such complex uh, projects which uh, are very difficult in terms of changing requirements, uh, in terms of uh, complex solutions, uh, integrations with many softwares, and uh, at the end, the team is ready for next complex uh, and uh, innovative projects in the company. 
some additional uh, advantages that uh, that the Adam Paul uh, got. Uh, they learned and practiced uh, powerful product building tools. Uh, I will uh, briefly describe the, some details uh, in in a few minutes. And uh, they also developed, uh, together with us, uh, effective means of cooperation, uh, which we had to do uh, remotely. So it was also a challenge because uh, people were uh, used to work on site, uh, to work together in person. And now in such a complex project, they have to change their habits. And it was uh, really successfully done. And uh, that's why we would like to share with you how we did it. OK, thanks. Now let's go to our framework. How does it does our framework work? Our process starts from business needs, goes through the discovery phase, which means design the right thing, ends by backlog, then through the design and develop phase, goes to the deploy, which is which is followed by uh, by support, of course, when product is or project is done. As you can see, we can deliver software incrementally. Uh, during this presentation, we would like to delve into some details for each of phase. One more important thing is that you can start this process at any step you wish, but recommend we recommend to to start this process from the beginning. So let's start from the from the product discovery, which means design the right thing first. Yeah. Okay. So we will show you how our framework was applied uh, to Adampol project, how it was. Uh, adjusted to bring the biggest value for that particular project and that its challenges. And uh, the first stage, as Przemek said, is design the right thing. So first of all, we have to be sure that we have real problem identified. Because sometimes we have a lot of problems. Uh, some of them can appear that they are not the ones that we should really target and uh, can you go back for a minute oh, sorry yeah and as soon as we have this real problem identified we can work to design uh, what is necessary to bring appropriate solution so building the backlog and these two stages i will describe in details on next slides okay uh, and when we are thinking about designing the right thing, we have the following generic risks. So we should avoid reinventing something existing because it's a waste of our time and money. Uh, we really have this risk that we will miss the demand uh, in, in the target group uh, or probably we will not deliver some important functionalities that bring value and uh, are really uh, expected by our customers. Uh, next risk is uh, financial profitability, which can be not met when we uh, do not estimate uh, our work properly. Uh, we, of course, uh, when we start big project, we have this risk that we will miss something from requirements. And then uh, in, in future, we will have uh, unexpected scope and budget increase. And all these risks were present uh, in this project for Adam Paul, part of Hyundai Glovis at the beginning. Uh, a lot of competitors, existing marketplaces, uh, new market share for Adam Paul. So understanding target group was really very important. Uh, we know that uh, we knew that uh, we need to find unique selling points just to distinguish from other marketplaces. And uh, we had this uh, financial profitability under evaluation, so it also influenced uh, our way of work. And at the beginning, uh, we had rough scope in mind, but it was not detailed enough uh, to give us reliable estimations. So what we did, we just applied 
uh, design the right thing phase from software as a journey. What does it mean? It means that first of uh, we we have um, split uh, our team into several streams, and one of the stream was uh, research uh, of competition, so identification of top competitors and performing deep research, understanding user uh, experience expectations, so individual in interviews with uh, selected users all around Europe. Uh, Generating of opportunities was a very important step because everybody from the team having experience with the business uh, brought some ideas from other, other solutions also not connected directly with transportation of cars. And uh, it was really uh, an engine to generate these unique selling points that we needed. We also applied business model canvas uh, and we started uh, to describe the way of uh, this marketplace would work. So we started with a big picture event storming session, which is very useful, nice, friendly way of gathering requirements uh, and every, every business loves it. Uh, and uh, we also defined uh, glossary of terms, so we knew that we understand each other correctly. We illustrated requirements uh, and uh, at the end team was able to validate them. And the development team was able to estimate. These are standard activities that we do during software as a journey at this stage. And the results, in three months we had this competition analyzed, uh, we had description of our future persons, so typical users that will use our, our marketplace from both ends. Uh, we had generated uh, more than 500 ideas, uh, out of them we, we chose five really good unique selling points and now traffic on the marketplace shows that they were really well chosen. We evaluated business model and we prepared product backlog. So this is important uh, deliverable, which uh, enables to start software development. Uh, we, it was prioritized uh, according to business um, needs and estimated by the development team and uh, the precision of estimations was uh, 30%, which is very good, uh, very good uh, level of uh, precision. And we also, out of these prioritized requirements, we defined uh, minimum viable product. So we knew what is the minimum, what is the must to, to achieve, but we also, were aware that we do not know everything about uh, this uh, software uh, as, as, as we only start developing it. So uh, we knew that some changes will happen, that uh, we can be wrong in some places. So we just kept 40% of that product scope uh, as a flexible part to be replaced uh, later if needed. And thanks to our software as a journey in three months, we were ready for development with really uh, good uh, precision of estimations. Uh, so later our project uh, didn't uh, stop uh, in unexpected place because we were out of uh, time or budget. Now let's concentrate on design phase. Normally we focus on the list on the risk which are listed on the left side. So technical depth, performance, security issue, integration and quality in total. During this project, we faced, we faced the, the following one. So the first two risks are related to, to, to the innovation of the project, especially cloud native. So it was something which was really innovative even for us. And we assumed at the beginning that probably we could change something in the future. So, so there was a risk. Also, the wrong choice of cloud services was another one. In terms of security, we didn't expect any risk. Uh, we, in integration, we identified at the beginning two risks, integration with SAP and Mapsoft. 
And normally we treat uh, integration as a as a risk, uh, and also the the risk we identified at the beginning was the lack of business teams able to validate requirements. Team was fantastic for us, but with no experience in building a complex software solution from scratch. And how we handle them? Business logic has been transferred from AWS to Lambda to, to native image. So it was the, the part of the part of the technical depth. We used performance statistic counters to confirm that the system is efficient. So it was the, the mitigation for performance performance issues. We also used uh, sorry, we periodically review uh, our configuration to be absolutely sure that there is no risk in terms of the, the security. Normally we examine the system statically and then dynamically. We do a performance test as well, but here was, it was an, enough just only to review the configuration because the security was assured by, by cloud vendor. In terms of integration, uh, the API's availability on development and test environment was assured by by clients. It was it was help us to to include the integration test as a part of CI/CD process. So in that way, we mitigate we mitigate the the risk related to to integration. Uh, in terms of teams, teams has been trained correctly. And, uh, and was able to, to cover the, the requirements uh, in terms of validation as well as uh, review the, the technical architecture. And what we achieved in technical depth, we normally with tracking, priori priori prioritizing depth task, following which with the agile development approach. And within this project, key changes elements has been implemented, has been modifying, modified after it had been set up in a different way. We built in to our CI-CD process performance, integration and security as well. As I mentioned before, including some, some tools dedicated for, uh, for static uh, let's say validation like SonarCube or Checkmarks. Team on client side achieved expertise in quality assurance, so it was the, another benefit, and the configuration security has been has been checked. And in numbers, uh, thanks to SI, we approach the average service response time has been decreased from three seconds till uh, point, 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, now let's go. Let's come together to development phase. In development phase, the biggest challenge is delivery with plan scope, budget, time, and, and quality. So as, as usual, we are using Scrum framework, which with all the ceremonies like planning, like a daily review, retrospective, but there are three key elements, three key elements which we have to focus on. The first one is definition of done, means that story includes all necessary information to start estimation, planning, and implementation. The second, second key point is definition of done. In when all condition and, ac and acceptance criteria uh, are met and ready to be accepted by end user. The third one is the burn up or burn down charts. So it's up to you. Are tools which help the, to track how much work has been com completed. And uh, I think there are two additional benefits. So we can control two sides of the process in the same time. And also we can increase mutual responsibility or accountability and close collaboration between client as well as vendor teams. Uh, finally, oh, finally for the, for the phase one of this project, we uh, have been configured and used more than 4,000 elements delivered by AWS vendor. Now let's focus on, on deploy phase. The biggest challenge here is decreasing system delivery downtime to zero, which means the system is available for clients, user all the time, even during upgrade. We achieved that by through our standard approach, which means fully automated CI/CD 
process, which is composed of continuous integration, delivery, and continuous deployment as well, including all aspects like test data management, configuration, and environment management. There are two important aspects here, components and dependencies, which must be also managed and included in our full automated process. And we did it, okay? So our downtime deployment is zero right now. Okay, let's go to the last but not least phase, which is a support. Uh, the, key, the, key, the key points here are is a mitigate the risk of unplanned unavailability, very often caused by issues related to, to security, to performance or functionality. Activities or mitigations here are set up the right team with uh, clear process, with clear responsibilities, uh, set up a system monitoring, which give us a quick alerts, which led us to, to quick reaction. Uh, the other aspects are periodic health check, so to monitor that nothing wrong is happening in the system, and also the, the implementation of policies, of change management policies, including software and hardware, hardware are strongly recommended from our side. And fine, in this phase, we are achieving, as a result, highly available product. Okay. Okay, so once again, let's try to summary. So our framework, Software as a Journey, helps the, the user to identify and mitigate a risk during the project. Uh, there are several steps. You can start at any steps you wish, but recommend to start this, uh, this process from the beginning, so from the, from the phase of discovery, your product. And this is what we actually did uh, together with Adampo. Uh, in one year, uh, we built from scratch the idea, detailed idea of the marketplace. We launched it and it is successful. It is running. It is uh, bringing business uh, transactions to the company as it was planned. And the approach, software as a journey approach, uh, is uh, very valuable uh, in, in the eyes of the business. Uh, they feel prepared for new innovative complex projects that they are also planning uh, because they know how to deal with complexity and how to deal with uh, software requirements. Uh, we learned them to do it uh, during this software as a journey. Okay, and if you if you found this presentation interested and might help your project, please contact directly with, with us or with me. We will consult your project. We can also check, you can also check uh, our updates on, on blogs, as well as we would like to invite you for, for the next webinars. We will focus on, on details for each of phase of this framework. Also, you can visit our YouTube channel and subscribe for new videos. And uh, you can find the, the links. The links we are presented during this presentation, you can find in comments. And once again, thank you for, for your participation. We will see you in the next webinar. Thank you. Thank you.